replacing. I didn't like the other two. No, 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 it would, no it's not. Let's not speak about it. No, I watched exactly. a bit of it. But... I was <laughs> thrilled. Decided to go to the bathroom instead. <laughs> yeah. Matt Hard is Nick O'Malley from Arctic Monkeys. Thanks for joining us ahead of the release of your new record, Humbug. And uh, we've talked about, you know, the, the, early, the early times you guys spent here with Dance Floor yeah. and making the video and being back in this room again and stuff. Do you like making videos? You got uh, the head around Yeah, here. it's quite fun, yeah. I want to do a video where you just gradually inflate something with a bicycle pump. <laughs> that's, that's your and thing. And that's the whole no video. One's done it, no, one else, no one else wanted to do you it. You know, I, I've spoken it. to three or four people throughout my life who want to see that video. Yeah. And I think maybe the next one, I don't know. the time. Don't yeah. tell it. Well, it's too late. Someone can't, else will do can't it. Can't get now. the other three. Won't go for it. It could be a secret door. You could inflate a secret door. And then, yeah. <sighs> cut, cut this. Cut this. Right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> go on. We'll it's talk a, about it's it a, off camera. It's a keeper. It's a keeper. <laughs> um, you guys have already been out there playing shows and playing the new songs to, to an audience. And I mean, can you play the whole album now? You feel com confident enough that you can? Um, there's only there's like two that we haven't really practiced yet. Which ones? We'll which ones? You've not got your head around. Um, Julius Hands. Julius Hands. Yeah, we've, we've done. We have practiced Fire in the Thud, but we just. We've all got old some back, haven't you? you know? Yeah, yeah, of course, of course. Yeah, and it, I mean, it all drives towards, you know, the big UK un unveiling of, of Reading and Leeds, which is going to be good, and it's a nice way to, to launch the record on yeah. the main stage in a big <laughs> festival. Yeah, bad way. We're back. Uh, but then, of course, you know, tension turns to the to a UK tour, and it's normally the kind of question I'd say to the end. I mean, I guess something's in the pipeline. Yeah, yeah, we don't exactly know what, but I think it will be, like, around November or something. Have you thought about how you can do it? And I, I spoke to someone today who was like, you know, they can't really go back and play small venues. Yeah. It would be inappropriate, but I think, you know, it'd be great to hear this new album done in a sweaty environment, you know? Yeah, we'll be just, like, gigs that we just did in America, they were, like, quite small. So we were doing festivals as well, so... And it was, it was, it was good like that, but... Mm. Yeah, I suppose you've just got to find the balance, and if you do something big, you've just got to make it good, I suppose. Mm. Were you thinking about how you could play these songs live in your recording, or did it ever cross your, cross your mind? Yeah, I think that's where we had to get John Action in. Because, like, obviously there's like a lot of organ and keys on it mm. and we were like well we're going to need a fifth member to, yeah. to make this like yeah. to like bring it across the way. So now you've got this new guy now you've got John playing with you yeah. um, mm. and obviously you're friends with him that's that's where it starts it's got to be able to spend time on the road with you guys because yeah. that would be awful. <laughs> <laughs> we didn't brave, get on it'd be a nightmare. Brave soul yeah, yeah. Um, but he can play and everything else and, and I mean he must have been over the moon to be asked. Yeah, yeah. Remember, yeah, it was quite funny when we I actually asked him. I think it was more like we, were, we feared not asking him if we got someone else. I think he'd have, <laughs> he'd have battered us. Yeah, he did not forget yeah. Yeah. the friendship would have been. Was it emotional? Him. Must have been emotional. Yeah, I think Al did it in that way. We were quite like, nonchalant. Like he always does it, just went, do you want to play keys for us? Like, <laughs> it was like that fast. And we went, what? Yeah. I missed I it. Like I had my headphones on and everyone oh, was like toasting. Magic moment. Yeah, I know. I was like, what? <laughs> How's it feel? Still to come, what's the most common one that keeps popping back up? <laughs> Probably lesbian, lesbian Wednesday. Wednesday yeah. I love that. <laughs> Did you enjoy your time off in between records? Yeah, we, we know what Alex got up to, and we know that you made a few beats and you know went out and did some DJing, hung out, we did yeah. a few shows. And yeah. what are you doing, Nick? Went to drive. Good man. Went to drive. It's quite a big yeah. one, isn't it? Yeah, it is all full. Passed on the third time. Third time. <laughs> third. Yeah. Oh, so that's good. You got your independence. You can now drive. I can drive. <laughs> No way. Uh, Just in time to go on tour and be driven yeah. Yeah. everywhere yeah. you go and forget exactly what you learnt. Uh, it was a good break though, but you must have been chomping at the bit to get back. Yeah, yeah it would like it would be good to do it and like be at home for a bit and stuff. But then it would like by the time it came back around, we were like quite eager. Did you did you feel like you had kind of an open slate? Did you feel you could go anywhere and do anything on this record even before you went to the desert? Yeah, I think it were it were quite exciting to to be able to think like that and think like we've got a lot, even just the amount of time we had because. Mm. There weren't really any rush to even do it, really. We just kind of like, we're, we're ready to play again or whatever, and we can afford time wise to like try different things out. So, yeah, mm. in that sense, it was kind of, what, uh, what do you want to do? <laughs> like, but no, but you, so. I can't imagine you would have afforded yourselves any time to really reflect on what you've been through because that would just be well, yeah, it's quite dangerous, isn't it? Change things, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it just probably had a good amount of time. So let's do that now. Um, <laughs> <laughs> how does it feel? Every moment. No, but, but, yeah, it is crazy because whenever you have a record coming out, we're always reminded of the time when you know you first came out and all this stuff. But it just was remarkably quick. Yeah, and it was two years. Yeah, yeah. really. So I was thinking, I was thinking the other day that it, it's like when people say it's quick, and I, like before, I'm like, well, it didn't, it didn't seem it like like us of all the things that have happened, it can't mm. have been that quick. But then mm. I suppose it was really. Yeah, it was remarkable. Like, you know, from I reckon what from root to the fruit, yeah. from from the, a video over there in the corner to partying yeah, exactly. at Diddy's house. 
in three, four years. I kind of saw it happening then. Yeah, you, know. you knew. You always knew. I was sat there winking at the camera, thinking. <laughs> when you're going, you know That's what? what the wink was. <laughs> That's for Diddy. Yeah. I'm coming like, for you. <laughs> just wait. Uh, let's check out some, some live music you guys are going to record for us over there. Um, pretty much exactly the same spot where you did dance floor. Was that, was that the yeah, area right there? Very, yeah, the very same. It'd be rude. I mean, we asked the other guys just a little reflection on that time. Was it a good day for you? Making it yeah, no.